Welcome back to Learning Solidity. This is the third and final installation of our little series regarding tokens. What we've essentially covered in this series is the concept of the minimal viable token, what's essentially required to get a token on the Ethereum network. We've then looked at the ERC20 standard, which, which was essentially a way that we could delegate um, control of our tokens to another user. And then we looked at the ERC223 standard, which was simply a way to ensure that our tokens weren't kind of lost or sent to a contract and therefore could never be interacted with. In this tutorial, we're simply going to look at deploying the token via the Ethereum sort of wallet. Um, there is essentially, uh, well, four ways that I actually know you could deploy Solidity to the Ethereum network, which I've not really covered before. Um, I will do in later tutorials, but I'll just briefly go over them now. You could deploy the code using Remix, but you do actually need a plugin to do so called Meta something or other. I can't remember off the top of my head. You can deploy to the Ethereum network using various node scripts, which I'll, again I'll cover in a separate tutorial. You can also deploy using Truffle which is a very good tool and I will do a separate tutorial on that individually and finally you can deploy via the Ethereum wallet. Now I'm doing it via the Ethereum wallet because I feel that is the easiest way to do it. So what I've done is I've taken our pre-existing Ethereum uh, Solidity code. As you can see in front of us we are back on my first token. Obviously this time instead of using Remix I'm using Atom with Solidity highlighting. I'll do a little tutorial at some point in regarding the use of Atom and developing with Atom. Uh, but for now essentially what we have is my first token. The only difference I've made to my first token is I've also used safe math. Now the reason I've used safe math with this is it just basically ensures um, that the adding and subtracting of our uh, values is done correctly. Um, I believe there has been issues raised in the past about it but um, not that I'm aware. So anytime, oh I've actually missed one here. So anytime essentially that you're adding and subtracting, especially when it's to do with tokens, you should use the uh, safe math libraries. Okay, so if I go back into the code base now, what essentially you need to do is ensure that all of oh, I something else, all of the Solidity files are basically collated into an in, into a single file if you're gonna deploy them via the wallet. So what I've done is I've created a file called compile.sol and I've basically taken all the ERC20 uh, standards, 223 standards, the, um, the receiver, the token, everything, including safe math as well, into one massive file. Now, what you simply need to do at this point is copy the whole file, make sure that I haven't missed anything here, and I did in the previous video, in the uh, sort of previous file. No, everything looks okay. Then let's open up our wallet. Now our wallet is currently loaded on the Romston network. The Romston network is essentially a test network um, which is away from the main Ethereum network. This is a great place if you actually want to test contracts without costing you money. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, wow, you've got balance of 28 Ethereum here. That isn't actually real Ethereum. It was free Ethereum that you can actually gain quite easily. If you simply go to this website, uh, faucet.romston.be on port 3001, all you have to simply do is enter your Ethereum address click send me three test ether and it will send you the ether you require that's how I've got so much you could mine it if you wanted to personally I wouldn't advise that you do I think it'd be a waste of time but uh, that is how you basically obtain ether on the test network now I have several accounts here now I have actually deployed this already because using the Romson network can be a little bit slow uh, because not many people are mining it, uh, the transactions can take a little bit of time to process. So I've actually gone ahead and already deployed this. But what I did to deploy it was I simply go, uh, went to contracts, deploy a new contract. In the Solidity contract source code, what I simply did is replace existing contract code there with my own. Um, you'll get a little loading bar here. You will then need to select the contract that you want to deploy. In this case, I want to deploy my first token. And then it's simply a case of just clicking uh, deploy. And that will then deploy it to the Ethereum network. Now, I am actually just going to change this uh, just very briefly to actually stop it from conflicting with my current token that I've already created. So my uh, MF2F, I just wanted to make sure the symbols didn't conflict. Create my first token. Let's just change some of these values as well. Just so we've got something a little bit different to play with. 
sure we got my first token and then we simply click deploy then what you'll do is get a little pop-up this is the raw data of your uh, uh, contract all you have to do is then enter your password click send transaction and then that will start being deployed to the Ethereum network as you can see here like I said these things take a little bit of time so what I did before was I already created this contract now this is a, this took 20 well this didn't take 20 minutes I deployed it 20 minutes ago and um, since then it's only had 86 confirmations it's also quite expensive at the moment to deploy on the Ethereum network but obviously seeing as you get Ethereum for free I won't worry about it too much now if I go to the my first token admin page you can now see the basics of my first token first name uh, supply decimals and also our symbol which is usually ah, down here and you can also see some functions we can interact with our token as well so we can choose to approve um, a spender's uh, amount of our token or my first token's value we could then transfer from if we've had that approval we can transfer to an address if we actually have some and we can transfer to a contract as well so those are just some things that we can actually do with our uh, token so as you can see here again I've already predefined some I've already executed some stuff beforehand so I actually created the account on uh, the token on account 3 so if I jump into account 3 you can see that I actually have not just um, ether on this account I also have um, 0 .0000 I realized at the time that I probably should have created more um, uh, tokens rather than with the with less decimal places but either way that is simply um, my first token now on the ether network I can now I can transfer this to someone if I want and I already actually have but it's still taking a bit of time to actually pen this transaction what I did was send from my account 3 to account 5 one or point whatever one my first token so that's now been sent so essentially now this is a fully working token on the ethereum network so essentially now at this point we have a working cryptocurrency now you can't see it on account 5 yet but this is because, like I said, the actual Rompster network is really slow. With, well, it's not really slow, but it's pretty slow with transactions. As you can see, this was submitted and it's, it's only got one confirmation so far. We'll take about five minutes probably to get anything deployed. So that should have um, one, uh, my first token, or point one, or whatever you want to say, but it doesn't because of the LBC like deployment. My main account actually has now two separate tokens. We've got my first token, um, two and also this N3 coin that I was playing around with as well. So if I wanted a, for instance, on my main account to send some, um, any of these, or even Ether, to another account, I can do so simply by selecting the, the actual token itself. Say so I want to send uh, five of them, specify the address. I can't remember off the top of my head one of these addresses. Let's just send it to account five. Ah, you'll get a confirmation just to remind you you're on a test network and not to use this in a real uh, system. So if I go back to main, let's send some my first token to. Let's send one of them. Let's make it super fast. Actually, let's send 10 just to make it really fast. And then let's get that sent to one of my other accounts. Uh, once again, you'll get a pop up. Confirm, send it. And that should now be sending. Now, what you can do as well is you can visit the admin page and do the same thing but the using the transfer function. Um, to be honest, seeing as this is now built in and the tokens now available to you, to be honest, it's probably better that you just use this uh, built-in functionality. It ensures that everything is sent correctly and it, it should just work smoothly. Either way, that is essentially getting our token deployed on the Ethereum network, so we now actually have a fully functioning cryptocurrency. So that is it in a nutshell i'm going to wrap this video up here i feel like there's a few more bits and pieces that could come off in regards to this such as looking at truffle uh, looking at uh, node.js deployment techniques looking at deploying via remix and also using the truffle test we all around but the next kind of set of tutorials i feel like i'm going to go into is probably going to be more along the lines of inline assembly but either way that being said if this video was helpful to you Give it a thumbs up if you would like to be informed about my new and upcoming videos click the subscribe button but until next time good luck and i'll catch you around